back to POV Italian Cooking where you see cooking from my point of view. Today we're making a creamy polenta. In one of my earlier episodes I did make creamy polenta but it was using an instant polenta. Today we're going to make it using real cornmeal. We're going to make a real polenta. Now I've never done this um, but I've been reading up on it. I think I got it down. I think I know what I'm doing. Um, to go with our polenta we're going to make this, uh, this uh, uh, mushroom, uh, kind of a mushroom sauce. Uh, to put over top of the polenta, it'll be mushrooms and a reduced uh, chicken stock. But let's take a look at our ingredients. We're going to start by looking at the ingredients for our polenta. We're going to use two cups of heavy cream, two cups of whole milk. We're going to salt it pretty well. We're going to use a two-thirds cup of a uh, cornmeal. You want to use a nice coarse cornmeal. At the end, we're going to add a little bit of uh, Parmesan and about a tablespoon of unsalted butter. That's it. It's hard to believe that you get this much uh, flavor out of this few ingredients uh, with polenta. Okay, we're going to make this dish in a saucepan. Make sure it is a pan for which you have a lid because we're going to cook this low and slow. So what we're going to do over medium-high heat, we are going to put two cups of milk and two cups of heavy cream. We're going to let this heat until it just starts to form bubbles on top. I just have to share, my, my son doesn't have the patience to wait on the polenta. Of course, I, I'm going to tell you ahead of time, this polenta takes about three hours to simmer. Um, I'm making Totino's pizza rolls. Now, I'm not going to share the recipe on that because I figure if you can't make Totino's pizza rolls, then, you know, you need to watch another video. So, just had to share that. Our um, Heavy cream and milk is starting to heat up. You can see a little steam coming up out of it. What you want to do here is take a whisk and we're just going to kind of mix this until it becomes real frothy. You just want to get a little bit of air in it from what I've read. This is going to help our polenta just kind of be a little more fluffy. So we've got a good froth going here. So what I'm going to do is slowly mix in my cornmeal. We're going to go ahead and bring it to a boil. Then we are going to reduce the temperature to an extremely low setting, as about as low as we can get it. And then we're just going to let it cook. We're going to let it cook for about two and a half to three hours. The reason we need to cook it that long is you want your cornmeal to get really, really, really tender. And it just takes time. From where I'm whisking it, I can feel it getting a little thicker. That should be enough salt. You can see that it's trying to come to a boil. Yep, it's coming to a boil. So we're just gonna, I'm turning my stove clear as low as it will go. So now we are just gonna cover. And we're going to stir this about every 10 minutes. We are now going to take a look at our ingredients for our mushroom fricassee that we're going to put on top of our polenta. So for this we're going to use mushrooms. I always like to use a mix of mushrooms. I have some baby bellas and some white button. But another thing I got today was some dried porcini mushrooms. To rehydrate these we're going to put them in kind of a room temperature water for about 20 to 30 minutes. So, we have our mushrooms. We're going to use one shallot. We're going to use some parsley. And again, what we'll do is we'll just remove the leaves and chop it up and then just go by taste. Red pepper flakes, salt pepper. Um, chicken stock. We are going to put this chicken stock on the stove and reduce it because we want to reduce it to it so it's got a real intense flavor. We're probably going to reduce it by about half. Uh, we use a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of our pan to get it started. And again, today we're going to use Balucci uh, olive oil. And then our drinking wine today is a Primitivo. I've been on a Primitivo kick. I love this stuff. If you have not had a Primitivo wine, get it. They say the Primitivo wine is probably what Jesus had at the Last Supper because it's a very, very ancient wine. It is pretty much they squash the grapes and put it in a barrel. There's not a lot that they do to it. So, Primitivo is good stuff. If you live in Columbus, you can get it at, um, actually I got this bottle at Carfagna's Market. So good stuff. First thing we are going to do is reduce our chicken stock. Again, we want this to reduce by about half. We're going to check real quick on our polenta. 
I've been stirring this about every 10 to 15 minutes. There, now you can see here it looks really good, really creamy. Now I have had to add some 2% milk on a couple occasions because it started to get more of a glue consistency. It would, uh, we could have hung wallpaper with it. And that's not what you want. You want it to be creamy. So I've added 2% milk on two occasions to kind of keep it good and creamy. Now I've got it on a burner on very, very low on my back burner. We're just gonna leave that set until we're done. You can see here that our chicken broth, actually I bought chicken stock, is starting to get hot, which is great because we've got to get this boiling and get it reduced. Now on our mushrooms, a lot of people will bring their mushrooms home and they'll see a little bit of dirt on them and so they'll wash them. Do not wash mushrooms. If you got a little bit of dirt on them, take a paper towel and just kind of brush it off. It's not going to kill you. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started here. So what we're going to do, a little bit of olive oil in our pan here that olive oil good and hot and we're going to put our shallots in so we're going to cook these until they're transparent that's probably going to be about four or five minutes okay, you can see here that our shallots are starting to get some color to them so now we are going to put in our mushrooms first mushrooms we're going to add we're going to put in our porcini those are the star of the dish so we want to make sure we use all those we're going to add these are baby bella mushrooms and then we have just your standard old white button mushroom. Now, these will cook down. We're now gonna add some red pepper flake, a little bit of kick, and we're just gonna stir these every now and then. Put in a little bit more olive oil here. We don't want too much olive oil in them, but just enough. Turn our heat down. Our mushrooms, it's just been a minute since we uh, broke away. So what I'm gonna do here is you can see we really don't have any water coming out. I wanna go ahead and get my chicken stock in here. Just gonna dump it all in. I'm going to add a little bit of this parsley. I wanna save some for topping as well. That's probably pretty good. A little bit of salt. Some don't add too much salt because you're going to get some salt from your chicken stock. Now what we want to happen is we want this to kind of thicken up. We want the mushrooms to soak up that chicken stock and we want the whole thing to kind of reduce. So we're going to put this on medium, let it go, stir it every now and then. We'll keep a close eye on it. So it's been about five minutes. I've got it turned on about medium heat. You can see it's bubbling really good. Let's get a little closer. It's bubbling really good, but I want it to reduce. When I start to see it reduce real good, we want it a little thick. Then we'll come back. Our polenta is pretty much done. Let's take a quick look. Our polenta, you can see here, is really creamy. I've made, this is the first time I've made real polenta every other time I've made it I've made instant polenta and you just can't instant polenta does not get this smooth it just doesn't this is incredible hold on here oh my gosh that's really good all right I I just took a taste of this I'll tell you what the flavor is spot on very intense chicken stock flavor what I've, I've done is I'm gonna go ahead and take it off the heat I'm gonna let it sit for about five minutes and I believe that it will thicken up a little bit more. It's not gonna cool down a whole lot in five minutes, but it'll cool down enough to where that stock is gonna thicken. Those mushrooms are gonna soak up a little bit more. All right. While we are waiting on our mushrooms to get done, what we are gonna do is finish our polenta. What we're gonna do is take about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half or so of butter. We are going to take two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese, just kind of like so. If I had my Primitivo wine, I'd take another drink because I've been drinking it all day and feeling mighty happy. So what we're going to do is just going to go ahead and stir this in. That butter I put in was unsalted butter. My wife brought me my wine. God love her. Oh yeah, I'm ready for bed. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir this a little bit more. Then I'm just gonna let it sit. Okay, our mushrooms have been sitting for about eight minutes. You can see as I stir them around, 
The broth in there has really thickened up. The mushrooms have absorbed that wonderful uh, flavor of the reduced chicken stock. Our polenta, our butter is all melted. Our Parmesan cheese incorporated. We are ready to plate, folks. So I'm gonna get this plated up. We're gonna be right back for a tasting. Well, I've got our polenta plated up with our mushrooms on top. Of course, we have a little bit of bread behind us. Of course, our wine, which we've been drinking for about an hour now. Feeling no pain. Uh, so let's give this a try, okay. sweetheart. Again, this is a fricassee mushroom uh, over a true, real, creamy polenta. Mmm, it's good. It's pretty good. Not, wow. as, not as good as scarpettas. Uh, but this might be one of the best things you've ever made. It's pretty close. Yeah, it's pretty darn really close. good. Yeah. Guys, you gotta make this. Do I, I tell you right now, I it's will really never make instant polenta again. This polenta is very easy to make. Yes, it's time consuming, but it's it's easy to make. So don't cut corners. On that note, thank you so much for watching POV Italian Cooking. Thank you to my wife for being in this uh, in this tasting on a weekend where she has done away with no brawl weekend for today. Yes, I'm sleeping on the couch he's, for mentioning it again. He's, he's so inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and now Snapchat. Uh, but most importantly, click that subscribe button on YouTube. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching and ciao.